everyone, Cindy here. Um, we're going to do another pick and choose. Um, remember last time I told you this deck of cards, I couldn't get them to slide? Um, well, now they do. I ended up uh, taking these and laminating them so that, you know, I can actually pick different ones now. So what I'm thinking about doing is, let's grab them all together here. Sorry, I'm a little bit unorganized this morning. It's morning. Coffee. I need more coffee. So we're going to just switch them around here again. I have no idea, you know, all I see is the back. So, all right, so we're going to do one, two, three, um, four, seven, five, and six. How's that sound? All right, let's see what we got. We have, I'm just going to move these over the way. Eventually, I think I'm just going to start picking them out of the bag. It'll be easier. Uh, let's see, use scrapbook paper or ephemera. Oops, get back here. Uh, use a brayer or a gift card, so I'm assuming paint's involved. Ink drippage or ink drop. Use a paintbrush or a palette knife. Uh, drop ink from a pie or drop fluid acrylic paint from a pie. Use a marker and use a gel pen. That is my six choices. Let me get these rounded up. Let me get some supplies. I'm really not sure which order I'm going to do these in yet. But um, I'm thinking I may use a brayer first. Let's try it. Brayer first. And then... I'm going to use some scrapbook paper, use a paintbrush or a palette knife, um, ink drip, drippage, ink drop. These are basically the same thing, aren't they? And then a marker or a gel pen. So that's pretty much the order I'm going to do them in. Let me go ahead and get uh, the supplies together and I'll be back. I'm going to start out, um, I could have done this off screen, but I'm actually using my brayer. Uh, this is just gesso. Just plain old white gesso, and I'm going to take my brayer, and let's get it moved around. So yeah, so my first card, it says brayer or gift card. I could have used either. doesn't really matter, but I decided, what the heck, let's get the brayer out. It was sitting right here, so. Oh, and I kind of like, I like the texture it's given. Except I don't like that it goes on all the other cards. All right. You know, it doesn't matter to me if the page is completely gessoed. Sorry, I've got... I'm shedding like crazy. So is not my dog. Alright, we will just ignore that. So yeah, um, it doesn't matter to me whether it's the whole page. I just want most of it. That's really all I'm looking for. Alright, so we used our brayer. Quick, simple, and easy, right? Well... I'm actually going to use my brayer again. So I want to put some color down. Um, I'm going to move these cards over here. The color that I want to put down, these are uh, gouache. Now, I've never really used these. Um, they're an acry acrylic gouache, which my understanding is they're very matte. So let's find out. Um, I'm going to throw down a little bit of red. Ooh. Lots of red. Um, I'm going to put down some white. And, oops, and I'm going to put down some orange. Oh, I'm sorry, this is permanent yellow deep, sorry. You can tell what I'm going to do with that. I want to make some orange in here somewhere. So I thought, you know, what the heck, let's just try it. Let's see what happens, because isn't that what art's all about? It's just playing. That's what my art's about. I love to play. I love to enjoy the process. Um, I just love making art, right? Now, I'm not worried about my middle here. I'll probably come back with a paintbrush and get that masking tape kind of, you know, done right here through the middle where the brayer won't reach. Now, I'm just looking to, like I said, just play. I'm not 
looking for a certain look. I'm not, I'm just playing. There we go. Look at that. Looks fabulous, right? Okay, so let's go here. Just clean off the brush. All right, let's go back and take a paintbrush. Oh, they actually did it. So I just want to make sure I've got my my seam here covered. That's all. That with that uh, masking tape. Okay, so we did it. We actually used our first card. It's use a brayer or a gift card. I used brayer. All right, what's next? Next we have use scrapbook paper or use ephemera. Um, I've been thinking about doing a couple, you know, a little bit of each. I have some, these aren't really ephemera, but they're really old. You know, they look old, let's put it that way. They're just strips. But the more I think about it, the more I don't know if I want to do this part. Let me think about it for a second. Guys, I had to switch these up a little bit because I'm like, I don't like the way that that page would have come together. So the next one I'm actually going to do is drop ink from up high or drop fluid acrylic paint from up high. Um, I actually want to do ink. And I don't know, this ink is getting really, like, old. So, I don't know if it's going to, yeah, this isn't going to work that way. So let's go ahead and get our little pipette. And we're going to drop it. You're probably like, oh my god, that's lots of ink. Well, I have an idea of what I want to do for this. I'm going to grab another pipette. Let's put this one away. And I want to put a little bit of this on there. See if this one works. Okay, now the reason I wanted to do that is because there's my dropping of my ink so I'm gonna put that over here I want to um, get my ink drippage <laughs> what a word <laughs> and how I'm gonna do that is by using my sprayer I want to put a piece of paper down here because if I don't it's gonna end up all over my desk mm. I feel discombobulated this morning. I didn't sleep well last night. I'm not quite sure why, but it just didn't work. So this is where I'm going to get my drippage, per se. What I really want it to do is come this way. Sorry for the noise. That's how I'm getting it to drip. See? Isn't that cool? Drip back this way, and then I want it to drip this way. And that's what I was looking for. So let me go ahead and dry this up, and we'll be back. And so we got our ink drippage. We'll be back, and we'll start our last three prompts, and let's see how we can make this page look. Be right back. All right, so I found, I went over to my die cut machine, and I have these pieces of scrap paper. I had originally cut out stars for this, um, getting ready with this blue, but I really don't like this blue on the background. So I had to go cut some that were a little bit darker. So I'm just taking them out of there. And again, this is just pieces of the 6x6 scrapbook paper. So I'm using it. All right. Now, I'm not sure about you. Um, some people would just automatically throw this away. I don't because I have a lot of real estate on here to use my little punches to get small things off these. So I just throw all these scraps in a basket. All right, so here's our stars. Now, before I put these stars on, um, which is my scrapbook use, I love the texture of this. Can you hear it? It's not smooth by any means. Um, I want to 
says use ephemera. Now this background is kind of cool looking, I like it, but it's missing. So you know how that you get the old script, right? This is my ephemera. Again, this these videos, you don't have to do. Don't don't take it literally. If it says use ephemera, if you've got an old piece of paper or old piece of art you had art you had hanging around, use it. <laughs> you know, these are very loose based, basically they're suggestions, kind of just to get you in the in the space of you know using different art supplies and just different ideas so all right so like I said this is my ephemera so I'm actually using both of these prompts just because I can and just because I don't like this background without it so again I'm just sticking these down it's just random words I love this washi though just really cool All right, this is a, I like this. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this, but if you go to the washi tape shop, the washi shop, something on that line, um, they sell this. All right, so that, I'm use my ephemera. I'm just gonna put a little bit of matte medium down over that because I don't want that washi to come up. Oh, uh, I find my matte medium and get into it. All right, so just, like I said, I'm just going to put a little bit down there. I just don't want the washi coming up, that's all. There we go. It likes to come up. You know, washi tape is great. I use it every day. But um, some of them, they just don't have a really good... Well, I can't say they don't have a good glue backing. They do. But for what I'm doing with them, I've seen in past journals that they come up off the journal, off the paint, and I don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna dry this real quick. So that's going to be my ephemera. Now I'm doing my scrapbook or scrap paper. For some reason, I just, I don't know, I love these hearts or these stars. Yeah, I don't even know what they are. Um, I love these stars. Actually, I have a whole bunch more here on my desk that I have cut out um, previously. Actually, it's kind of cool in there, doesn't it? There's two more. Let me see what else I have here. Those are little white dots. Don't want that. How about these? No, don't like it. Now you see my painful process I go through. Oh, here's a little tab. What else do we have? Um, this is just die cuts that I've done and haven't really done anything with yet. I like that, but not on this page. Okay, I like these. These are kind of cool. So we're going to figure out where our stars are going to go. I wish I had more of this paper. I'd, I'd cut more of them, but I don't. So we're going to use these like a shadow in the background. How does that sound? All right, so I'm going to put these together first. Let's do that. I got my medium right here. So I'm just going to kind of make these like a shadow. That efficient, put my top back on my matte medium. Oops. I need three hands. You ever feel like that? Like you'd love to have three hands? I like that. Isn't that cute? So there's one. I'm just going to let them dry together. Uh, I need another smaller one. Or, yeah. This size. On this side, and let's 
see how they fit together. I just I like that. I don't know why I put it on the wrong side of that one. But I did. That's okay. No biggie. We're going to glue them down anyways. But I like that. I like just that little bit of that um, black shining through on the back of it. So we're going to do the back of this one. And we're going to do the front of this one. <laughs> I'm going to do the same thing again. So I'm just going to put them, you know, kind of like they're together. There we go. That works. They don't all have to be the same. It doesn't matter. We're just putting some really cool stuff down there. All right. Just because I really don't want glue on the outside of my journal yet. We're going to wash that up. And dry it off, and we're gonna bring back the journal. Okay. So this is used scrap of paper and ephemera, which I'm doing that. Uh, my scrap of paper is gonna be put down here shortly. I just have to figure out how I want it arranged. Now my thought is, you know, we actually have two different pages here. It could be two separate pages, or it could be a one page. Um, my thought is to make the stars on this page and use this page for a saying or a quote or something of that nature. So, I don't like them like that. Let's put this one down here. Let's put this one over here. Kind of randomize them. Randomize. What do you think? They look okay, right? I think so. So let's glue them down. I'm just going to use this um, matte medium. Hopefully it's, you know, thick enough. I've been using, um, I've been falling in love with Ultimate Glue. Uh, I found that, actually my friend had some. And I tried it one day up to her house and oh my gosh, I love that glue. Um, it's this glue, it's called Ultimate Glue. And you can get it in Walmart. <laughs> I had to set this on top of the glue because I have too much glue. But it's a really, really thick um, consistency and it holds down anything. Yeah, I might end up using that. I'm going to use it. You know, I like matte medium for like tissue papers and that kind of thing. But ultimate glue, um, I think, is better. So this is just a little pop that it's in, if I can get the pot out. Yeah, I should be able to get it out. The same friend that was using this gave me this the other day. So I told her I didn't have a whole lot left, which all I have is what's in that bottle. All right, so for this, I'm gonna take an actual uh, scraper. There's a lot. There we go. I'm going to take an actual scraper and I'm just going to put some of this on it. It's a spatula. Um, what else do you want to call it? I don't know. But I'm just going to put some of this down here. And then I'm going to lay the star in it. And then put it over. Um, this stuff dries clear just like all the other ones do. Um, you can get it, like I said, in Walmart. Uh, it's in the craft aisle and it's just called Ultimate Glue. And I really enjoy using it. All right, so this one, I'm gonna figure that one about there. So this one's gonna be somewhere in here, right? Just gonna kind of throw it there. Get some more glue off this top. It's really, really thick. Can you see how thick it is? It's a really thick, almost like a modeling paste or type, uh, maybe like an Aileen's tacky glue, but. It's, um, I really enjoy it. I like using it. To me, if you have problems getting things to stay down, um, use this Ultimate Glue. It works fabulous. Okay, so I'm just going to add more to it. And you really, this stuff goes a long way. 
Let's see what else I have on my spatula here. A little bit more for this. I didn't get them all the way down here. And I didn't get them all the way down here. Okay. So we've got our stars on. Um, like I said, this I use for actually holding, you know, heavier stuff on. Alright, let's put that back in there. Ooh, making a mess. That's alright, whatever. We'll put this back on there. I'll get it off. And then we'll set this here. Okay, so that's on. I'm going to dry it. And then our next prompt or our next idea is to use a paintbrush or a palette knife. Hmm. So we're going to have fun with that. i got to figure out what I'm going to do with a paintbrush or a palette knife. All right, let me dry her up. All right, so now I'm going to use, it says use a paintbrush or a palette knife. Uh, I am choosing to use a palette knife, this itty bitty one today. See it? About the size of my fingertip. Um, I'm going to get some black gouache. Is that how you say that? Gouache? Gouache? G-O-U-A-C-H-E. Gouache. All right, whatever. Uh, I'm going to throw a little black down here on my little... Oh, I have a silicone mat here on the side that I use. And what I just want to do... I hope it works for me. I'm not sure. I just want to throw... A little black in places. Let me do it this way. Probably gonna need more. For some reason, I don't want to take it there. Right there. Okay. I just want to mess around and make some marks and just play. So that's what I'm doing. I just want just some black in here. Let's throw it here. My finger's right on there, so it's getting wet. Now let's see if I can get some So I hope I don't make you guys dizzy. I always spin my books. I just find it's easier for me to play with them then. Nope. Let's see, we gotta do it again this way. I'm trying to get the uh, little mark making. Don't want to do a whole lot. Kind of leaving this blank here because I want to write um, something little on it. I'm going to put some up here. Right now I'm just using up paint that I have sitting there. All right, I think that's all I'm going to put because, like I said, I want to use um, some uh, pens on here. So now it says, that is my palette mark making. And then it says here, uh, use a marker or use a gel pen. I'm actually going to be using markers, but we need to dry this. So I'm going to use a marker uh, and a pen, both. Maybe the pen. But I'm also going to use a white Posca. So this prompt is use a marker or use a gel pen. Ugh, I'm actually using a marker. Um, this is just a pen gear permanent marker. It's the chisel tuck point, which I really like. And then instead of a gel pen, I'm just going to use a Posca. So like I said, I don't like my handwriting, but we're going to do this anyways. All right, so here we go something about my handwriting I just I'm not happy with see it's ugly 
To me it is. <laughs> All right, so now let me just see if I can get these a little bit better. I don't know why I did this one all in capitals and these little. I don't know. I just enjoy having fun. And you know, honestly, does it really matter? Not to me. You know, if it's something that drives you crazy, make sure on your page then you don't do it this way. But it doesn't really bother me. Enjoy the moment. And honestly, that's exactly what I'm doing. I am just enjoying playing with my art supplies and just chilling out. So I'm having fun with it. All right, this is permanent magic mark or permanent marker, but I always like to give it a little. <laughs> it's probably dry, but yeah, I just want to make sure. All right, so I'm going to use a Posca. This is just a white Posca. It's the nib, nib style. And now I'm just going to play around. First thing I want to do is put some Humpty Humps in here. I want them all white. And then I'll black line them. I don't know why, just because. And then I'll actually go over a black line with them. So I'm going to be using this Sharpie pen. Um, this is just a Sharpie pen. It's a fine point. It's a very, very fine point. So I'll be using that. But I have to let this paint dry first. I'm also going to work around going around those. I'll probably use this Uniball Signo to go around my words and just make them pop out a little bit more. So yeah, with this uh, pick and choose, you know, it's just basic ideas if you want to add more, if you want to add less, but I try to stay, you know, kind of close to the, the picks just because, you know, it's fun to do. Now, um, one thing I want to tell you about that ultimate glue, it will dry to touch relatively quickly, but in order to have it fully dried, I will leave this set out for 24 hours before I shut the pages. Just because I want to give it that time to really set. I mean, it's a heavy glue. You know, it's kind of like paint. You try to, you know, dry it with the dryer and really you're not getting down into all the paint. So this will be set open like this. All right, one, two, three, la, let's leave them. And I want to go to, I'm going to use my, use my Uniball Signal. Um, this is just a white pen. Um, they come from overseas, where I can't tell you, because I don't read that, but anyways. So here I'm just going to play around with kind of outlining my word here. And... I just, eh, some of this is just, I like adding little touches to it. Um, I may do some dots or some white splatter, I'm not sure yet. You know, like I said, just enjoy this. Don't You don't have to do exactly and just what the prompts say. Just have fun with them. Yeah, I like that better. I'm not being real careful about making sure I'm right on point with this because again, it's about the play. It's about the having fun and just enjoying what you're doing. Oops, that one didn't like the texture in that paper right there. Oh well. Ooh, M. T. 
tea. Oh, let's see how those things. Sometimes they, it's like they get a hiccup when they're writing on paint. So honestly, I know a lot of people say, oh, don't do that. I tap them on the nib and it actually brings more paint down in. So that's how I get my pens going. All right, enjoy the moment. Let's take this. This paint's all dry. So, a friend of mine calls these my humpty dumps, my humpy humps, or whatever. So, you know, it's one of the easiest things I do, and I just like having fun with them, so that's what they're going to be. And like I said again, I'm sorry if, you know, me turning my book drives you crazy because, you know, it's, that's the way I work. I work better when I can spin it to my vantage point and not trying to be doing things that look funky. Well, you know what I mean. Things that I just, I'm not comfortable doing with my right hand. Like these humps. It's more natural for me to just do it the way I see it versus trying to do it upside down. Oh, I what happened to that one? That didn't go well on that ink. One more thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, uh, not yet, because this is a little bit tacky, but once this completely dries, I'll take this black Sharpie pen and I'll just go along on the outside of the, the stars. But there you go. We have another pick and choose, and I will make sure that I put the prompts or ideas or suggestions in the comments below. Um, I really hope that you do these projects and just have fun with it. And absolutely, please share with me. I'd love to see what you do. All right, until next time, take care. Bye. Bye.